Hello everyone and welcome. So, you are making an action game and you want to show the players that they have hit an enemy. How do you do this? Well, usually you flash the enemy sprite for just a split second so that the players get a visual feedback that something has happened to the enemy. So how to achieve this in Game Maker Studio 2? One of the most common approaches is the use of a shader. What I am, however, going to show you is a much easier way. Something that doesn't require any shader coding. It's three very easy lines of code and you will be amazed. So, roll the intro. Intro. What the f***? Okay, so we're inside GameMaker Studio 2 now. This is the test project. It's pretty much the same test project which I used last time where I did the split second freeze tutorial or quick tip. We have a player object which we can move and shoot. And if we shoot, the enemy gets hit and we have this split second freeze. However, we are lacking the visual feedback that the enemy is being hit, so it doesn't blink but we are going to make it blink now. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen this quick tip, I will leave a link at the end of the video. So if it sounds interesting and you want to learn it, you're welcome to do so. Okay, so we will work with the enemy object. In the enemy object, we will start by adding a variable, a Boolean variable, calling it is hit and we will set it to false by default and what we will also add oh no let's let's just work with this first okay so on contact with object shot shot gets destroyed we have the freeze yeah but we will set is hit to true mm, to true what we will also do, we will use an alarm, alarm zero, and we will set it to three. Three steps out of 60 steps per second is, um, yeah, a very good. It, it's a very good time for, for blinking. I tested several. However, you're welcome to try what suits your game best. So let's go ahead and add the alarm event. Uh, event. event. <laughs> what we will do in this alarm event is we will just set is hit back to false. So whenever it is hit, it is true. Is uh, Whenever the enemy is being hit, the variable is hit is set to true and the alarm is set to three and the alarm sets it is hit back to false. However, this alone doesn't make the enemy blink. The final piece is in the draw event. So whenever the enemy um, is not being hit, we will just draw self. However, if it is being hit, We will work with the GPU set fog function. It's actually a 3D function, but it works for 2D perfectly. So we will set the fog to true. It is false by default. We will set it to white, which is basically the draw color. If you want your sprite to be a solid other color, just enter it here, start, and end is zero. That's that. So now we will just draw what we want to draw. In this case, the instance should draw itself. And we will just set the fog back to false. We will turn the fog off again. The rest is the same. And that's it. 
as I said, three lines of code, very simple. And let's go ahead and look. Aha, uh -huh. you see, that's totally working. <laughs> very easy, very elegant, just a very super splendid way to make any sprite blink. The cool thing about this is that the sprite could be animating, it could be changing, changing shapes, whatever. It wouldn't matter because it's just drawn at a different color completely. No use of shaders, just three lines of code. Yeah. That was it. Easy, no? So if you learned something from this video, please leave a like. Also, if you are doing something awesome with this, leave a comment and let us know, like me and all the others. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel to get more Game Maker Studio 2 quick tips. That's it. Bye bye.